Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just scroll down a little bit till the task number one. Okay, now just copy this name. Okay, and in the search bar, search for it like this and open this thing. Now what you have to do, we have to just simply click on this service directory. So here you can see this is a service directory. Click on that. Now click on this enable option. It will take a couple of seconds. So just wait for that. Meanwhile, just simply scroll down and copy this name. Okay, do not copy that full stop. Okay, now just wait for a couple of seconds. And okay, now just simply click on register services. From here, choose the standard one and click on next. Now for the region, just choose us central one and for the namespace click on that then click on this create namespace and paste the name which you copy from here okay now just simply click on create now for the service name just copy this example service okay and paste over here like this now just simply click on create and you are done with that now what you have to do just simply click on the name then click on this add point or you can say add endpoint for the endpoint name just simply scroll down copy this example endpoint do not copy that full stop paste the name over here now for the ip just copy this thing and paste over here and for the port it must be 80 like this now just simply click on create so you are done with task number one if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number two just copy this name okay now click on this cloud dns click on this create zone and make sure you have to choose the private zone okay then paste the name which you copy from here okay now just copy the name as a name of your dns so just paste the name over here now no need to make any other changes just choose the op option if you just simply scroll down and in the options just choose use a service directory namespace like this now for the network just simply click on select all so it will select the default now for the region it must be us central one okay and for the namespace it must be example namespace that's the thing it must be look like this if it's so just simply click on create now once this thing will be created you will get a score on your second task and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day